Hallo und schöne Grüße aus dem Frankenland. This is a follow-up video of my last video about the Eel battery box 16S48 volts. And um, I would say let's start to install the stuff of the uh, in the box. So what did I do already? I installed the the three wooden pieces to prevent uh, bloating of the batteries. And um, for now, I have to start to mount the, the side uh, uh, handles and also getting dismantled of the front plate. So, yeah, let's start and see how fast it goes. For this one, you need the black screws, the black uh, 4 by or 3 by 8 or 4 by 8 screws.
Next thing will be the uh, handles or the, the connectors between the modules. For this we need the silver screws. The next Okay, next we have to um, clean the whole case because I'm, I'm putting all the epoxy sheets in there. For that I need a vacuum cleaner, of course.
have um, the 16 be between the cells, but we don't need those right now. And also the EVA tapes we don't need, but we need all the other stuff. So, so we need these four. There are two here. And two in the front, okay. So next to this uh, plate here. But then we have um, four wide ones and four short, shorter ones. So the shorter, so I can, so that you can see. So these are the two ones which are a little bit narrower than the other ones. These are for the bottom area, and the other four are for this side. For this side, for this side, and for this side. Okay, but what are we doing with those? That if if you put them in, they are falling, they are falling all the time like this. Okay, so I don't like that, and even eel is not keen about that. So they had an idea what to do with it, and. Um, at this time, the glue comes in into the game. So let's see if it's still liquid since yesterday. So I have to get some some pressure on it, and hopefully it's still flowing. Good. Okay. So it's great. So in that case, we start. From here, we make the side walls first. So I'm putting some of the walls here. It's a little bit of a mess, but um, don't have to worry because. Um, it's all covered by these epoxy sheets later on. So take the side covers first. And put them in. Okay. And the acrylic glue is holding them on, in the position and uh, after 24 hours, it's really getting hard and holding the part forever. So let's do the same on the middle piece here. Put some acrylic glue on there. Doesn't need to be perfect, but um, should be enough that the side blades are sticking in position and don't move anymore. Okay, and the same we are doing for the other two sides, for this side and for this side.
next one. Last but not least, it. By the way, I tried that with a uh, hot glue, but um, as the metal is super cold, uh, the hot glue is getting really, really super fast um, in, a, in a really hard uh, consistency. And um, this one is much more better to, to use for, for this kind of um, work, the acrylic. So you press it on against it and that's it. The rest will, do, will be done by the, by the batteries then later on. Okay, so we, we did the side walls. Right now we have still that. The, um, we still have left the, the bottom area, so let's do it the same. Make some, make some art in there. <laughs> This is the area where the where the batteries constantly make pressure on it, and uh, as soon as the batteries are in, this one will be really. You don't have to be really. You can make whatever you want. You can make, you can draw your name in there if you like like to. So the smaller ones are for the bottom, as I explained before. So let's put it in, position it a little bit that it's looking like a professional. <laughs> and also that one, just the same. Position it like a professional. Good. Then, last but not least, we need two plates for the back where our um, wooden sticks are in and also for that that those are really sticking to it I am plating it a nice cross in there or whatever I like to do across the Batteries later on will have so much pressure to this area that um, it's fitting with the wooden sticks. That's it so far. <clears throat> okay. So the next thing is to position our plates in there. And uh, our cells in there, our battery cells in there, and um, you start if you have already a number configuration in place for your cells. So start with the first one here. For, so it's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, until the eighth, and then from nine to sixteen is on this side. From nine to sixteen. So this is also what the what the uh, linker board. Board says. So if you see the linker board, so you can see this is the left one, 
So I have 1 plus, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are on this side, 1 to 8, and 9 to 16 is on this side. Um, yeah, so um, what we have to do with the linkers is is to put the EVA form on it so with that you only have to get all the colored things out there get the glue off uh, or the, the tape off and then you can start to stick it it's really really nice fitting there so we will see right now I did that with the other Thinking board already, but if it's destroyed like that, it's not that good. Okay. Just so it's uh, straightforward. Then we have our linking port inside, and the same I did already for the B port. Port. So there's already the form on. So next is to stick the batteries in there, and we start, of course, with eight and nine. And if you have a look on our sorry, if you have a look on our drawings, the plus on the end on this side on this side here, the plus is to the middle. So we have a plus here on the, on the batteries, and this has to be on the middle. And be careful with these epoxy sheets, they are super sharp and they can destroy your they can destroy your um, cells so what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm positioning all the cells in the right order and now I have to get plus and on this side the minus or a negative pole next one and again plus in the middle and so on And on the other side, it has to go the other way, so plus, minus, and so on.
Okay, so um, as we have, as we have uh, right now, nearly all the cells in there, only two cells are missing, and um, there is a meaning behind that that I don't put all in there, because we still have these kind of um, epoxy uh, plates, which we have to position between the between the cells, and of course we have eight of these. Um, EVA foams. So, what are we doing with those? Those are really for the end before we put on the bracket here or this kind of uh, metal plate again. So, those are somehow in somewhere in this position. Yeah, so these are out of the game for the moment, but we have to put in here, 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 somehow this combination of plates. So what I found out with my first case, we can do on each, with, uh, between each of the cells, of the 16 cells, we can place one of these um, thin epoxy sheets. But I, of course, want to have some something which gives the batteries a little bit tension so that they are not getting loose or something like that within time. So that's why I'm using these EVA foams. And I will I will make it like this way. So I will I will not stick like in each manual the EVA foams to the batteries itse itself, but I will stick it to the epoxy sheets or to some of the epoxy sheets. And my my um, strategy is to get um, the, the EVA foam in place every two cells at least. So that in case they are expanding or not expanding or, or, or getting slimmer, the EVA foam is compensating that. So I will start with the last one because we have here the wooden place. So here I will position a EVA foam and epoxy sheet plate on both sides here. And then every two cells, I will position a EVA foam epoxy combination. So here again, and here again and in the other cells I will position I will only get a epoxy without EVA foam in there so for that I have to prepare the EVA foam give me a second I will go to I will uh, pause the video and come back as soon as I'm done with that okay I'm right now finished with the with the EVA um, epoxy sheets so I have to place those right now between the cells and um, it, it really depends on your cells what you have. I have EVE cells which are not bloated uh, at all so um, I will put those really easily in so one on the back then second cell two cells more and the next two cells again one and here one and then again two cells one So right now I will position the last cells in here and then um, or maybe no let's go let's go first because 
I was really a little bit struggling the last time to get between each cell a, a kind of epoxy sheet. Okay. Good. I will do this later. Thirty two has to go here. So with that done, you only have two or three epoxy sheets left and um, those have to be positioned here. But with my combination, this is not that easy to go inside there, but I want to have each cell divided by an epoxy sheet. So what I'm doing right now, and I'm not uh, holding this on camera because it can take a while, I'm putting the front bracket in here giving it a little, little bit pressure so that the EVA foam is already a little bit in tension and when I release it I can I can uh, get those EVA sheets in there in the last between the last uh, two cells here and yeah that's it so you have to do this somehow it's a little bit of uh, a work but um, it's up to you. You can also leave one EVA foam tape out there or epoxy sheets out there. It's really up to your choice, but I really want to have that. So I would stop the video right now. And um, in the next video, we are looking into the um, BMS and front plate uh, installation. So with that said, I'm off right now and See you in the next video. Bye.